Hello, I'm Margaret Llewellyn Davis, and I came to live in Kirby Lonsdale in 1889. I moved here with my parents and six brothers when my father became vicar of St Mary's Church. I was 28 years old when we came to live here, and I had attended Girton College, which had been founded by my aunt, Emily Davis. It was the first all-female college in Cambridge. I then went to work in London to try and help alleviate the lot of working-class women. Our move here coincided with my becoming secretary of the Women's Cooperative Guild. So I took one of the upstairs bedrooms at the vicarage overlooking the churchyard, from where I ran the guild for 19 years. My very dear friend, Lillian Harris from Loomfield House, came and helped me. And at times, we were so busy <laughs> that we had to use the gardener's wheelbarrow to carry the reports, petitions and circulars from the vicarage to the post office. In 1908, my father retired, so he, Lillian and I moved back to London from where I continued my work for the Women's Cooperative Guild until 1921. By then, the membership had increased from 11,000 to 52,000. And owing to all our hard work, we managed to pave the way for huge changes in the provision of maternal and infant welfare. Through my work, I met many interesting people including Virginia and Leonard Wolfe. They became firm friends. And Leonard was often heard to remark that my deeds would have filled many pages of who's who. So here I am, social reformer, suffragist, and pioneer for the education and rights of working class women. So why do I have a copy of Peter Pan? Well, I shall tell you. It's because it reminds me of my dear late brother, Arthur, and his five sons, my nephews, George, Jack, Peter, Michael, and Nico. Mr. Barry wrote Peter Pan for them, you see. And I often think that if you look very carefully you might find some of the magic of Neverland sprinkled right here in Kirby Lonsdale.